Oh, sure. And uh, the, the Mr. Atheist man <laughs> that who wants all this this uh, request and proof. It always proves one thing. You prove nothing. And you neither will, never, ever will, unless God is dealing with your heart. But, the way I see it, sir, it, it's kind of like, and I'm not calling you names, I'm giving you an analogy, analogies, excuse me. It's kind of like the grasshopper and the ant. Yeah, you know, the ant he had to work all the year to store the food back. And the uh, grasshopper just didn't want to, so he wanted to lay about, kind of just watch the world go by. Then it came time when winter was come. He wasn't having nothing, you know, he didn't have anything, but the ant did. And and this it kind of reminds me of you as the grasshopper and uh, God's people as the ants. So you're too busy trying to watch the world go by, trying to observe something that you cannot observe. And therefore thinking you can wait and that maybe something's going to come by and it's going to present itself. And what amuses me, in a sad way, is that you feel that God will snap his finger just to perform for you. Or that he'll perform for us for your benefit. God don't work that way. See, the thing is that you're going to have to do is when God starts calling on your heart is listen to him and then without help from man is to get your heart right with him then open that beautiful book start reading it and look all around you everywhere you go and you're going to understand the reality of God you know See, it is amazing, sir, that even amongst my peoples, in their old traditions, they even see more than what you can. And, uh, and they would see someone like you, and they would look at you and call you a fool. Because you can't see, you, you don't, you see, but you don't see. So, here's the thing is you're so desperate to want to find answers but you still hadn't answered the one question and neither can you, you ever ever find a satisfactory one that is a good answer why are you here why are you here what is it that you want and each time you pop up here, I'm going to ask you that same question. And that's a promise, sir. I'm going to keep asking you, why are you here? And I'm going to keep asking you until you start learning to think within yourself by taking a look at yourself. And then taking a look all the way around you. But, remember, the things with God are spiritual. They're not carnal, not fleshly. And you can't see God, but you can see His handiworks. Because, see, God is spirit, but He's alive. Now, the gods of these other countries is not spirit. They're stone. But, uh... I've, I've said my piece, and I will not say no more until you come back up, and I will say the same. I will say the same thing. I will say, why are you here?
why are you here? Because already a lot of the brothers and sisters has already kind of got the figure, and that's about pretty much what we have thought. Because you're searching. You're searching for God, and you're going about it the wrong way. But I'm still going to ask you that question. I will not say one thing over or less than that. That's the question you will receive. That question will be your answer. And, and if, uh, if you get hot under the collar, the way I see it, then that same collar that you're wearing, you can also cool down. Able to cool down and think like a rational man. So, I wish you well. And may God bless you, and may God help you find the truth. And I do offer my apologies for the the ones who had appeared, had the appearance of having something that they didn't, you know, the appearance of Christianity. See, I can't show you actions on video out on the field I can but see I don't perform for somebody I, I perform for him and what I do it comes from my heart it don't come for greed or selfishness or anything like that it comes from a genuineness of my heart to uh, to reach out poor souls and that's something even science can't emulate so you have a good day and God bless you and uh, you be careful out there you only got one life you don't, you're, not, you're not a cat of nine tails nine lives or whatever if you want to believe that so be careful make sure every step you make in this life counts Shalom.